Hi everyone, I'm here to do a book haul. I have a ton of books to talk to you about, so I'm going to get started right away. Uh, first up, I got eight books on my Kindle. Most of them are e-galleys, um, but I also bought two books. First up, I got Witch Eyes by Scott Tracy. I bought this one from Amazon. Um, I've heard a lot of great things about this book, but I haven't picked it up before. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading this book. It sounds really, really interesting. Plus, I got the sequel, Demon Eyes from Net Galley, so I'm really excited to read those back to back. I don't think this one has a cover. No, it doesn't. Then from Amazon, I got Tangled Tides by Karen Amanda Hooper, which was free. It looks like this. No idea what it's about, except I think that it's some kind of paranormal underwater kind of book. Um, sounded good from the synopsis, so I thought I'd pick it up. The next book I got was from Net Galley. I got Pushing the Limits by Katie McGarry. Um, doesn't have a cover, but I'm so, so excited for this book. I've heard a lot of great things about it. Um, I'm looking forward to reading more contemporary because I tend to grab more paranormal and dystopian tales. Um, but I do love contemporary, so I really hope that this one is as good as it looks and everyone uh, makes it out to be. So I'm very excited to read that one. Then next up I got The Goddess Legacy by Amy Carter, also from NetGalley, which is a short story compilation kind of book. I'm really looking forward to reading it, even though I didn't like book two at all, and I hope that this will enlighten me a bit, and I hope that book three will be better, but um, I like book one, book two, not so much. Um, but I'm determined to read the entire series because I really want to know how it ends, even though I didn't like the second book. Then I got Rape Girl by Alina Klein. Looks like this. Um, it sounded really interesting from the synopsis, so I thought I'd pick it up. It sounded really different, so I'm looking forward to reading it, um, even though it deals with a difficult subject. Then I got a final book of Nat Galley, which is Beautiful Music for Ugly Children by Kirsten Crone Mills, I think. And we have a tiny image of the cover. Um, Sounded interesting. I thought I'd give it a go. Um, so, yeah, that's everything that I got off NetGalley, but I also bought another book from Amazon. Um, I bought an already finished Thorn Queen by Rochelle Mead, which is the second book in the Dark Swan series, and it looks like this. And I really, really like this series. I'm really looking forward to reading book three. I really want to pick it up soon. Um, but it's a great um, urban fantasy kind of story. Um, I like the characters in this book and in these books actually and I really want to see what happens next. This series is a great um, adult series if you ask me. Um, one of my current favorites so I'm really looking forward to reading the third book in the series. And that's everything that I got on my Kindle but I also got a ton of physical copies. Um, first up I got a Dutch book. I got um, Soulmates, Het Verhaal van Phoenix by Dros Sterling. Um, it is called Stealing Phoenix, I think, in English. I'm, I thoroughly enjoyed the first book, which is called Finding Sky. Um, really enjoyed it. was a different kind of book, even though there was lots of insta-love, but it was different, and I really liked it. And so I picked up book two, which I actually had to order online because the bookstores didn't carry it. Um, so I'm excited to read this one, and I hope I can read this in the next month or so. Um, she's writing the third book right now, and I'm really curious to see um, what happens in that one, even though I haven't even read this one. Then I bought another Dutch book. I bought Boy 7 by Miriam Maus. This is a Dutch author, if I understand correctly, and I've been eyeing this book for a really, really long time. Um, but it was the usual price, like 17 euros or something. I thought it was too expensive for a paperback. But uh, a year on, I'm still staring at this book every time I enter a bookstore, so I thought I'd pick it up anyway. Um, it's about a boy who wakes up in a desert, has no idea who he is, but then he listens to his voicemail and he hears, hears himself tell him um, that he can't call the police, whatever he does, don't call the police. So he has to find out who he is and stuff. Sounds really intriguing and I am looking forward to reading it after a year of opening it in the bookstore. So, ah. And then 
I got a book of Book Depository, a pre-order release, and I'm very excited. I got Shadowbound by Rachel Vincent, which is the second book in the Unbound trilogy. The first book was awesome. I loved it. Um, I can't wait to read this one, even though I've only been reading adult books in the last couple of weeks. Um, I really need to read some YA, but I'm so excited for this one. I love the cover. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it has little chains all over the book. And I just really like the cover image. Um, so hopefully I can squeeze in some YA and then read this one because I want to know what happens. And I got a massive order in from Amazon. Well, maybe not massive for everyone, but a massive order for me. First up, I got The Duff by Cody Keplinger. And Amber loved this book, so I mainly bought it because of her. Um, I trusted it awesome. This is also a contemporary book and um, it looks really, really good. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It's been out for a while now and I saw it around but I wasn't sure until Amber loved it. So I picked it up and I'm excited to read it. Then next up I got Possession by Elena Johnson. And this is a dystopian tale, and I love the cover. Even mine looks disgusting because it has all these murky stripes on it. Because the people who packed these books had dirty hands or something, and I can't get it off. Um, anywho, this is the first in a series. The second one is called Surrender. I've been wanting this book for a really long time, and I heard mixed things about it. Um, but I thought I'd give it a go anyway because it was a bargain book, and I know bargain books are cheap, but cheap doesn't mean it needs to look like it was run over by a truck. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this one. And then I picked up my first Diana Peter Fund book. I picked up Rampant, which is about killer unicorns, and I am pretty much dying to read this because I've heard so many great things about this series. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading her new book, which is called... I can't even remember. Something with stars. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I... I really want that book and I can't think of the name which is really frustrating um, but I'm looking forward to reading this one I love that the unicorn is shown in the dagger slash sword um, I think there are two or three books in this series um, but killer unicorns come on I haven't read any books about unicorns and I'd better start off with the good one right um, then next up I bought <laughs> glow uh, by Amy Kathleen Ryan, uh, which is another book that I've been eyeing for a really long time, um, but somehow didn't pick up because I heard some mixed things. Um, the premise reminds me a bit of Across the Universe by Beth Revis, which I loved. I um, still need to read the second book though. Um, but I'm trying to read more science fiction books, and this one seems to fit the bill. Um, I'm quite curious about this one. I will do a video review of this one when I finish it. Then I got Virals by Kathy Rikes. Um, and my camera does not show how pretty this cover is. I love this cover. Um, I love the vivid green and the sunbeams and the girl with her, her waving hair and then the little dust particles and then in the letters you can see I'm not sure if you can see you can see like dog uh, eyes and stuff um, it looks really really cool um, I know that this one has received a lot of mixed um, reviews some people love it some people hate it I hope I'm with the first group of people um, but I've been wanting to read this one for a really long time. Again, I haven't picked it up. I don't know why. But it was cheap, so I thought I'd buy it. It was pretty decent size as well. Um, it's about a group of kids who have enhanced abilities or something because of some experiments. And um, yeah, sounds interesting. At least to me, it does. And I love the cover. And my camera doesn't show it, which is really frustrating. Um, I'm sorry I'm not showing what's underneath the dust jacket. Most of them are really simply black with just the lettering. And I thought it would take too much time because I'm already talking for way too long. Um, next up I picked up Invincible by Sherilyn Kenyon, which is the second book in the Chronicles of Nick series. Um, 
I read the first book about two months ago, really, really enjoyed it, didn't expect to enjoy it because after I picked it up I read so many mixed reviews, um, but I really enjoyed it, it dragged me out of my um, reading funk a bit before 20 Boys Summer uh, pulled me out completely, but I've been wanting to read this one ever since I finished the first one. It is pretty much all over the place, but I love the fact that it has a male main character and that there are all kinds of paranormal elements in it instead of just a vampire and a werewolf. Um, I've been reading way too many of those uh, lately. Anywho, I'm really excited to read this one. Um, I haven't read her adult series, which is supposedly has some crossover with these books, um, so I'm not sure on that, but um, I really like the world, world building and the characters, and yeah, I'm looking forward to reading um, what happens in this one. Then I picked up this gorgeous game by Donna Freitas, um, which is a, a story about a girl who really wants to write, and then she wins this um, like apprenticeship with one of the famous uh, writers. He's also a pastor. A pastor. What's um, anywho, uh, it turns out that he wants more from her than just her story writing, and it's a game of his power over her and her trying to overcome that. It's a contemporary work, and I am so excited to read this one. I saw this one in Elle's in my mailbox somewhere last year. Been wanting to read it since forever. Um, I finally picked it up. I think this is one. This is the first one I will read out of all of these. Um, it's really tiny, um, but it's a heavy subject matter, so I'm quite curious about this one. Then I picked up *The Mockingbirds* by Daisy Whitney, which is the first in the series, and it's about a girl who was raped, and she's in this special school where um, they have this council, the Mockingbirds and they punish the people who did wrong and stuff. So she's trying to decide does she need to um, tell the Mockingbirds that she was raped and um, does she dare to come forward with her story because she was raped, you know, and it's really hard to talk about that kind of stuff. Um, I'm very curious about this one. It's another contemporary, but I love the fact that this one deals with something that's more than summer love and stuff. And even though I love those books, don't get me wrong, I've been looking for some heavier contemporary works, and I hope that this one is one of them, along with some of the others that I showed you um, before. And then last but not least, um, I bought Eyes Like Stars um, by Lisa Menchev, and this cover is gorgeous, and it's so fairy taleish. Um, it's about a girl who loves plays, I think. Oh man, that was my phone. Um, but everyone is raving about these books. Um, it has some sequels. I've been seeing it all around for over a year now. Never had the urge to pick it up until I saw it on sale um, on Amazon. So I went ahead and I already love the cover. I'm quite curious to see how the story plays out because I'm not really into plays. Um, but I'm sure it'll be good. I will do a video review on this one as well because I haven't seen many video reviews of this one around. So, yeah. And that's my massive, massive book haul. Um, I'm trying to limit my book buying because I really, really don't have room. Um, in my room for any more books. I'm trying to buy more ebooks and it's gradually getting there. Um, oh, I almost forgot. I also got some bookmarks. Um, I got bookmarks for Small Medium at Large by Joanne Levi and she signed all of them. And it's a middle grade book and I'm very excited to read this one. I will be keeping one for myself and I will give the rest away. Um, I'm not sure when I will put the giveaway up, but I'll be sure to let you guys know. Um, big thank you to um, Joanne for sending me these. I really, really like them. And I'm very much looking forward to reading Small Medium at Large. Um, anyway, that's really it for this book haul. Um, let me know in the comments below which, which books uh, you got lately, if you've read any of these. If so, um, what you thought of them. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts, and yeah, that's it for now, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.